Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Destiny of Stars. So today I'm going to talk about yearly prediction for Cancer Ascendants for 2023. Before I start, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for notifications. So for Cancer Ascendants, 2023 is going to be transformative. Let's see the major transits we have this year. Saturn has finally gone in Aquarius in 8th house from January 17th. Jupiter is already in Pisces in 9th house till 21st April and from 22nd April it will go in Aries in your 10th house. Rahu is in Aries and Ketu is in Libra till 30th October and from 31st October Rahu will go in Pisces and Ketu will go in Virgo. So for Cancer Ascendant, Saturn rules your 7th house of marriage, spouse and business and 8th house of occult, mysteries and sudden events. Saturn will be transiting in your 8th house. Here you will be focused on higher learning of research, occult, mysticism and hidden sciences. As 9th house lord is going through 8th house, this may be a situation where due to a sudden event, person's belief might change. Career and life path are surely going to be transformed. You should take care while driving and traveling. With the help of your luck, Jupiter can move you somewhere in the month of April. After that, there may be a chance for an interchange in the workplace when Jupiter transits in your 10th house. During this time, you can find a new job where you will have a chance to demonstrate your skills in full. You might feel light mental and job pressure but you will come out stronger out of it. Some of you may get monetary benefits from ancestors' property or through selling any land, building or vehicles. There will be a slow and steady growth in your finances this year. You are advised to avoid taking any risk related to finances or investing in risky sectors like online lottery or gambling. Try to save the money for hard days. There are chances that due to your problems and pressure you are facing in your professional life, you may ignore or disrespect your partner which may create clashes between you two. You so you are advised to equally prioritize your relationship during this year. Rahu is already placed in your 10th house from last year and it will continue to be there till the month of October. Rahu's energy is going to manifest very good result regarding your professional aspiration, growth in professional life and working on new projects. You can even expect good career opportunities from foreign lands or distant places. Ketu is also present in your 4th house till the month of October. So till that time, you are required to pay attention to your mother's health. Get all her routine checkup done. Take proper consultation with the doctor and be present for her at all times. You will be highly intuitive in your relationship with family but may find it hard to express. So for that, you are advised to feed and serve street dogs that will help you centralize your emotional energy. The investments you have made in the past will finally pay off and you will discover that your efficiency is quite effective. So overall this year is favorable. While there may be a few delays, things will improve mid-year. So don't worry too much about not receiving your due recognition as you will get it. This year will end on a high note as well with the great gains from professional activities, business venture and investment. So that's all for Cancer Ascendant. Uh, thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.